the environmental impact on the lake will cause substantial damage. I think they need another marina here. Continuing coverage tonight on a proposed marina project on Old Hickory Lake in Gallatin. Some people who live nearby tell us they're afraid a new marina will ruin their little piece of heaven. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will have the final say here. Fox 17 News' Caitlin Miller's live downtown outside the Army Corps' Tennessee headquarters with more on reaction to this marina proposal. Yes, well, a marina owner that we spoke with says that this proposed marina would have a negative impact on the boating community and environment. While a boater we spoke with says that they need bo more boat slips for the increase in demand out on Old Hickory Lake. Alan Coker grew up hitting the water at Old Hickory Lake. This is my therapy, is jet skiing. Coker says he'd like to see the proposed Foxland Harbor Marina built right next to the Station Creek boat ramp in Gallatin. I think they need another marina here. Uh, my sister and him just left the one uh, up east of here, and uh, the Corps of Engineers will not dredge it out because it needs dredging. It's only that deep, and they had trouble getting out. Coker says it's hard to get into a marina with the increase in demand. So here at Gallatin Marina, we have just over 400 boats in both of our... Nate Rubright, CEO of Rubright Marinas, owns Gallatin Marina. Rubright says the damage to the community and environment with a marina in that location would be detrimental. The environmental impact on the lake will cause substantial damage uh, to the, the fish population, the amount of sticks, the amount of debris that caused in the lakes, and then also there'll be a significant safety hazard for recreational boating. According to the Army Corps of Engineers, the project consists of a dry storage facility, boat slips, fuel dock, restaurant, and parking areas. This could bring up to 400 new boaters to the lake. Rubright says it would be in the heart of the area where most people tube, water ski, and swim. Rubright says they talked to the Army Corps of Engineers about a safer solution. So we are committed to expand our marina as well as our dry storage facility and our facilities in general to fulfill any market demand and any boater growth that, has, that will occur in, in the area. Rubright says they can add 150 more boat slips by the spring. Ann says Cherokee Marina can build 50 more boat slips on this lake by the end of the summer. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers says that an assessment draft is currently being written by a consultant, and then the Corps of Engineers will end up evaluating that. And this document will be available for public review, they say, within the month. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Caitlin Miller, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.